Hello everyone and welcome. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Aquarius for the week of July 24th through the 30th of 2023. And I would like to thank everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow as well as those who have watched my videos and given them thumbs up letting me know you've watched them. Thank you again for doing that. All right. Ooh. Well, a little bit of disappointment in your life. You know, something's hurt you. Well, this could have been in the past. doesn't have to be immediately right now. This could have been um, something you've been carrying around for quite some time. You know, that's wearing on you. So you're trying to set yourself free from it. And you're wondering, do I talk about this or do I just, you know, suck it up and keep moving? And I think you're just going to take the swords out and realize that you need to set yourself free here. You don't want to have to keep packing this around. So you're moving forward with that. And the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. There you go. New relationship coming in for some of you. And it's going to be one that you're really going to be happy with. You're not going to have this doubt and stuff that's gone on in the past. You've opening with you taking the swords out and realizing that you have to move forward. It's opening you up to all sorts of new wonderful things in your life. Good friends, new home for some of you, uh, new jobs, getting along with people better. People are starting to understand you a little bit more. And the Queen of Wands. So most definitely you are motivated to change many things around you, yourself included. You know, you're no longer going to regret what's gone on in the past. You're moving steps forward into the future. Some of you are actually thinking of starting your own business moving forward, you know, so that you don't have to be feeling like you're not going to have enough in the future. Mm -hmm. And the seven of swords, look at you go, you know, you keep it to yourself, you know better than to, you know, let a lot of people know about your business. So that's good. Sometimes that's a hard thing to do. You know, when you're feeling good about everything, you want to share it. So, but you're losing, you know, sleep over different things and you don't want to keep packing that around. So you're going to be moving forward, understanding where you're going. You know, things are going along quite well for yourself, but you just don't want to share it right now. You want to keep it until it's solid. So that's where you're going with that, which is wonderful because, you know, sometimes we all have that way of doing things. We don't mean to, we just do it. And the Ace of Wands. So there you go. New beginnings. Opportunities are starting to open up to you since you've opened up to the universe. Your energies are starting to return. You know, this could be, like I said, a new career that you're thinking of either getting yourself off the ground or joining in with somebody else. You know, but the opportunity is there. And, you know, and it's just all of a sudden. It's not that you planned it or, you know, even knew that it existed. It was just sort of, you know, some somebody said something to you and now you're definitely thinking about it. And the Nine of Swords. So you're definitely thinking about maybe even a little bit worried. You know, thinking that perhaps you should have said something a little bit different or did something a little bit different. You know, that sort of thing. And it might be costing you a little bit of sleep this week, over analyzing, overthinking it. But you're going to let that go because you're going to realize that you can't change it, you can't undo it. You just accept it and you keep moving forward. And the Queen of Pentacles, so beautiful. You know, you're making sure that you're saving for a rainy day. You're learning to invest uh, your time as well as your money in different areas that are going to continue to grow for yourself in the future. You know, you're just taking matters into your own hands this week for 
your future, realizing that you're the one who can make it happen. And the Queen of Cups. So most definitely, you know, something in, in your life has revealed itself to you this week. And you're grabbing it with both hands because you want to be able to go forward with it. You want to succeed at it. And that's whether it's a job or a relationship or, you know, just getting along with family and stuff. And you're realizing that it's there. It's been handed to you. You're going to, you know, follow your intuition here. And you're going to develop um, more long-lasting relationships in family as well. And the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely things are on offer to you. Opportunities are there. New beginnings. You know, things are starting to open up to you. Your whole life is changing for the better. You're starting to realize that, you know, there's everything's out there for the taking. And now you're trying to decide which one because there's so many. And with those, you know, awakenings, you're starting to realize that you're feeling better about yourself. Your health is starting to feel better if you were feeling a little bit, you know, depressed or down. It's just you're in the right place at the right time, which is beautiful. And the three of rods, look at you investing in yourself, your ideas. You know, you've put it out to the universe. You're on good, solid ground, and it is growing, and you can see it. You can even see when it's coming back to you that, you know, you've made the right choices for yourself. Yeah, and the chariot, most definitely. You know, you're moving on to better yourself in the future, in your situations. You know, where you were at, you realized that, it didn't make you happy. It wasn't fulfilling to you, but it, now you've, you know, healing yourself there. You've picked your path you want to be going down and victory will be yours because you are that determined to do this. And, you know, and that will in turn free you up and you will start to reward yourself with taking these trips that you've been, you know, thinking about for quite some time. And you're going to realize that, hey, you know, for a lot of us, it's, you know, it didn't cost me as much as I thought sort of thing. But you're going to, you know, totally enjoy yourself as you are on this journey this time. You're not going to dwell on the past. And the Page of Cups. Well, there you go. Could be new romance coming in for some of you. You know, you know there's, uh, there's a th thrill of... Uh, getting back together with friends and family this could be an old crush that you had you know just that you run into you hadn't seen in a very long time maybe somebody you went to school with at one time and um you know you realize that hey you know they like me and and i think they're okay too so you know it might strike up something in the future for the two of you you know you're not you're trying to learn for yourself to break the ice. And uh, if you've been, a, you know, on your own for a while, it's quite hard to do sometimes. It's not that your mind doesn't stop. It's just you're never quite sure and nobody wants to get hurt. So when this offer is presented to you, it's going to make you stop in your tracks just slightly and think, huh. Is this how it is? You know, but a good way. And the death card. Yeah, you have learned to be careful of what you're doing, who you let into your life. You're also, you know, letting go of your past. You're realizing you can't change it, undo it, but you've learned from it. You, you have vision now of what your expectations are and what you will allow into your life. So you're moving forward on such a positive note. You know, you just... You're glad of what you've learned. You don't want to do a repeat and the rest, you know, it's dead. You, you won't bring anybody back from your past. This is going to be just you starting over. And when I said that person may be interested in you from the past, you know, that could be you used to be neighbors when you were kids, you discover, you know, as you're talking to one another, that sort of thing. 
but that's not the same as being in a relationship at one time and then you decide that you're going to take that relationship back. This is totally fresh for you. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card, but your cards are very positive. You are a little bit stressed out, but that will soon pass. And, you know, you've already decided what you want to do, where you want to go, and you're stepping forward. So congratulations. All right. To help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. Now, isn't that interesting? And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Remember to subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you again next week. Bye bye for now.